Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem first and last occurrence of x. So basically, first we would understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically, in this question, we have an array. One minute. We have an array. Let's say 1, 3, 3, 3. 5 and 7 okay in this array we would be given a value for example x is equal to 3 okay and let me assign the index position 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so what do i need to do is first i need to find x okay x is here here and here right now i have three index values that are 1 2 and 3 right now among these three index values this value 1 is the minimum value and this 3 is the maximum value basically what I'm trying to say is 1 is the first occurrence 1 index position is the first occurrence while 3 is the last occurrence right so my output would be 1 3 okay now how to solve this question it's very easy first basically what I would do is I would append all these index positions in a list okay first i appended all these index positions in a list and in the list okay one minute now i have a list right in the list i have one comma two comma three right now in the list i would assign index positions to this zero one two okay and now zero is the index position for the first element right and over here if i say 3 is also at minus 1 right if i see from the reverse positions right so this is the last element so basically i would append this indexes in a list and in the list i would refer to the index positions again 0 and minus 1 i hope the question and the concept to solve it is clear to you now let's move forward what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal in practice portal in the difficulty section you need to choose basic okay then you need to find the problem uh, first and last occurrence of x once you find the problem you need to click on solve okay let's solve it okay here is the question let's read it given a sorted array arr containing n elements with possibly duplicate elements the task is to find indexes of first and last occurrences of an element x in the given array. I hope the question is clear to you and we would be coding it over here, right? So let's do it. One minute. Enter. If n equal equal to 0, that means there is nothing, right? There is no element. So I would just return minus 1 comma minus 1, okay? enter now i am creating a blank list empty list basically now i would apply a for loop range of what range of n okay colon enter then if array i equal equal to x that means if i found the element i need to append that index positions in that empty list right so l dot append okay and what am I appending? I am appending the index position, right? Enter backspace. Over here, if the length is equal to 0, okay? If the length of what? If the length of L is equal, equal to 0, that means there is no element in the new list. That means I was not even able to find the element, okay? So, in this situation, again return with minus 1, comma, minus 1 okay enter else okay in else you need to write or maybe not write else you can just write return what do i need to return i need to return with the index positions right so l square bracket 0 is the first position while l square bracket minus 1 is the last position right now i need to check if the solution is correct or not so i would click on compile and run so let's wait Compilation is completed. My output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Okay. So wait. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. 
problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem first and last occurrence of x i hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today thank you